All right, good morning and welcome to Mass Ataka online class. Today, we'll be solving this simple uh, arithmetic process questions. Okay, um, what do you do? In this case, the first one, bring in all the positive one side. Separate them by a plus sign and bring in all the negative one side. So let's do that. 5 plus 3, okay, plus 6 plus uh, 9 and plus 10. All the plus, they are in 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Correct. Then plus. Why do I use plus to separate them? Because plus does not affect anything. Okay. It's minus that is so powerful that it can change everything. So I have minus 4 here. Uh -huh. Minus 7 is here. Uh -huh. Minus 2 is here. And minus 8 is here. So let's count them. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, so let's go. You will not add this one. If I add this one, I'm having um, 5 plus this, 8. Uh, 8 plus this is a 14. 14 plus 10 is 24. 24 plus 9 is a 33. So I'm having 33 here. Plus, now remember, watch, remember, the operation we are going to take, if you see, my answer will always go with what? The, the, the sign of the bigger one. Okay? Or you can say, let you factorize. Since everybody has minus, you can decide to bring minus outside. And that minus times plus. Minus plus, because they are not the same thing. I'll have minus here. Okay? So since you have factorized minus, it means everything here will not be plus. Okay? Because if you decide to multiply, watch. This time this minus this, this time this minus this, this time this minus this, this time this. So it will be better for you that way. So I'm having 33 minus, uh, this is um, uh, 10. 10 plus uh, 11 is, uh, is 21. So 21. So my answer becomes uh, uh, 2 and 1. So 12 is the answer, as simple as that. You see, it's very simple. So number 2, let's do the same thing for number 2. Number 2, bring in all the positive first. This is number 1. Number two, all the positive. This is two plus seven uh, plus six plus ten. I do count them to make sure I'm correct. One, two, three, and four. So there are four here. Plus, then let's bring in all the negative. Minus five, uh, minus three, minus four, minus nine, minus twelve, and minus eleven. Okay, so remember, this is um, 2 plus 7 plus 6 plus 10. Then, it, I want to factor out minus because everybody have minus. So that minus times this plus become minus. So everything changed to plus immediately. 5 plus 3 plus 4 plus 9 plus 12 plus 11. So you now do the mass and get your answer. So what do I have here? If I add here, I'm going to have, um, this is 10, 16. 18, uh, 25. So I'm having 25 here minus. Here I'm having 8, 12, uh, 21, 31, 33, 43, 44. So I'm having 44 here. And what do you do here now? Now if you look at this one, if you look at these two I did, plus minus, the operation I'm going to do is minus. But my answer is going to take the sign of the, the bigger one. The bigger one here is plus, so my answer is plus. So this one here, plus minus is minus. That is the operation. That's what I thought you. So 44 minus 25, you are going to have a 44, 25, um, going to have 9, um, 3 minus this, I'm going to have 19. Now, since I'm having 90, but my sign will take this, the answer will take the sign of the bigger one. So I have minus 19 as the answer. You see, it's very simple. So the next one we're going to do, Let's look at this one. Now, this one said, number three said, two brackets, five plus three minus six. Now, there are two ways of doing this. If they can add, you can do everything here, they multiply by two. Or you say you use two and clear everything. So, let me do it this way. In case, maybe you are using an alphabet and they cannot add. So, you have to clear. These two will multiply everybody here. So, I'm going to have two brackets, five plus three, sorry, the same two bracket three minus this minus now two bracket the same six so i'm going to have 10 plus six 
minus 12. So my answer becomes uh, 16 minus 12. 16 minus 12 will give you 4. Okay? So let us try if it's the same thing by saying 2 brackets 5 plus 3 minus 6. So I have 2 brackets. All right, let's go. Um, 3, 5 plus this is 8. 8 minus 6 is 2. You see, I'm having 2 times 2, which is the same for the same answer. You see. So we use this method if they cannot add. Maybe I'm having A plus B plus C. For instance, times D. You see, alphabet cannot add. So that's when I use this method. Okay? But if, if it's something that can add, you do it. You use this method. You will still get the same answer. So the next one, number four. Number four says um, 6 plus 8 plus 12 plus 14 divided by 2. Now, in division, in division, you if it's addition that is separating them, you cannot just say 2 would divide 6 alone. No, it doesn't work that way. If you want to divide by 2, you are going to divide everybody by 2. That is when we have addition or subtraction separating them. Even if I have minus here, uh, there is no problem. Let me even put minus there. There is no problem. The same method. What I'm going to say is what? 6 divided by 2. That is if all these things cannot work out. Maybe it's an alphabet. I cannot add or subtract. That is when I'll use this formula. Plus 8 divided by 2 minus 12 divided by 2 plus 14 divided by 2, which will give you 3 plus what? Plus 4 minus 6 uh, plus 7. So what do we have? Uh, let's do on the plus first. This plus this is um, 7. 7 plus 7 is 14. So I'm going to have 14 minus 6. And 14 minus 6 will give you, I think, 8. So I have 8, okay? So that is that. But if they can add or subtract, you go straight and do it. 6 plus 8 minus 12 plus 14 divided by 2. So what do you have? I'm going to have this plus this will give you, um, okay? This plus this will give you 14. Yes, 14 minus 12 will give you 2. 2 plus uh, 14 will give you what? 16. So I'm going to have 16 divided by 2, which is what? 8. Okay, so note, when we use this method is when they cannot add, the numerator cannot add or subtract, we separate them and do it each, uh, each of them. So that is that. It's as good as saying, um, it's as good as saying maybe uh, X plus Y plus Z divided by 2, for instance. You see that all these things cannot add, so it's going to be x divided by 2 plus y divided by 2 plus z divided by 2 okay so because they cannot add you separate it that way so that is what i mean by that but it doesn't work like that for multiplication let's do this last one before this one it doesn't work like that for multiplication 8 times 6 times 12 times 20 divided by 4 in this one whenever it is being separated by multiplication multiplication and division are together as addition and subtraction are together so no need of doing it each of them okay so just look for anyone that can go that is it it's okay for you see that 20 can divide 4 so let me go with that one 12 can divide 4 i can decide to go with that one so i will say 8 times 6 times in fact if i want to use 12 i'll say 12 divided by that 4 then times 20 only one because addition is the um, um multiplication is the opposite of division they go together so that you cannot go for everybody. So I'm going to have 8 times 6 times uh, 3 times 20. You do the mass and get your result. Or another person can say, you carry the 4 here and divide only this. Okay? Or you just say the normal way we used to do 4 divide 1, 4 divide 5 before you multiply. Okay? It's the same thing. Okay? So the next one I'm going to do, number 5, uh, which is the last one here, is um, minus 4 bracket 5 minus 3 minus 2, sorry, minus 1, and um, 2, okay? Now, in multiplication, I told you that you check the sign first. Minus, minus, the same thing. My answer is plus. So, combination of this is giving me plus. That plus, minus, they are not the same thing. So, my answer will end in minus. I see it now. Minus, minus, plus. That plus, minus will not give you minus before you can now multiply everything here. 4 times 5, 20. Uh, uh, and uh, 2 times 3, 6. 20 times 6 will give you uh, 1, 2, 0, 0, I guess. Okay. Yeah, 20 times 6. Okay, 1, 2, 120. So that is that. 
Okay, thank you very much for watching, and uh, God bless you. Subscribe, share.